What's up everybody, Brian Song here and welcome to the Apple Bits for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. Apple AirPods have arrived, they are here, and early reviews and impressions are out and people are really speaking highly of their sound quality and noise canceling. Now I'll be getting them today, like most of you, I bought them with my own money and my review will be coming in a few days, but uh, it will absolutely be worth it. Plus, you can check out my initial reactions to the AirPods Pro, but there's a few more things that we learned about them. It's gonna cost you a little more to repair or replace the new AirPods Pro compared to the AirPods Old. Out of warranty, it will cost $89 to repair or replace a lost earbud, that's for a single one, or $178 for both of them, and then $89 to replace the case if it's lost or damaged. I talked about the Apple Care Plus plan that cost $29 for two years of coverage in the last video, and under that plan, it costs only 29 bucks to repair or replace a pair of AirPods Pro or the charging case on its own. The plan does cover you for two years and two incidents. And I know how clumsy a lot of you are, like Jesse in New York, seriously Jesse, and then Jocelyn Jackson and Ahmad, get the Apple Care. The earpiece tips that come in three sizes can also be purchased for $4 from Apple directly if you lose them as well. But you know, it's always fun to play with a new toy and I cannot wait to review these things. Now the AirPods Pro were the first big drop this month, but we still don't know if we'll actually see that rumored 16 inch MacBook Pro with its larger screen, thinner bezels, updated scissor switch keyboard, and new Intel processors by the end of this year. Now all rumors said it would be coming, but there's still no sign of it. And maybe that's why they call them rumors. But it looks like we're getting a whole lot closer to finally seeing the new Mac Pros arrive. Apple's new powerhouse desktop has received FCC approval Apple has said it's coming this fall, and this is a signal that it could be coming very soon. Now we're still waiting for the configurations with a beast of a machine that can be loaded up with up to 28 core Intel Xeon processors. We know the new Mac Pro will start at $5,999 with eight cores, and then their 32 inch XDR display is not required, but pretty much required, $999 for that grandstand. Now, since we're sticking with Macs, let's talk updates. Apple has released macOS Catalina 10.15.1 with support for the new emojis and AirPods Pro support. It also allows you to opt out of sharing your Siri recordings with Apple, but people are still experiencing issues and bugs with this release. So I would still say to only upgrade right now if you absolutely have to, as Apple continues to work through those bugs. Then we have iOS 13.2. It was also released on Monday, but that update has been pulled by Apple after it ended up breaking some home pods, leaving them with this like white swirl on top. And no, that is not a feature. Now, Apple recommends you do not reset your home pod if you have already updated to 13.2. And really, our public release is looking more and more almost like beta tests for Apple these days. It's another major issue. And since the release of iOS 13 on September 19th, it's their fifth software release in six weeks. I know they're trying, but damn, that's a bad Apple. <laughs> But good things that iOS 13.2 brings. How about Deep Fusion that has now been enabled for photography to enhance your photos even more in specific situations with the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pros, but it is invisible to the user. You're just gonna get a lot better looking photos. Plus, the ability to change the video resolution and frame rate directly from the camera app. Instead of jumping in your settings to do that, I would love, absolutely love to try these new features out, but you know what, I can't because my iPhone 11 Pro was stolen. Like it was just stolen, so I'm waiting for insurance to really sort this out. So hey, good times, lucky for them, I had all kinds of pics on my phone. All right, I'm gonna take a moment to show you a product that I think is really gonna be super useful for a lot of you. It's called the Bento Stack Power Hub from Function 101. Now I featured their original Bento Stack about a couple years ago on my own, so the Bento Stack team said, Brian, let's partner up for the Power Hub this time around. And we are, so check this out. The Power Hub is a stackable case made up of three parts. The top is a charge cover that has a built-in 8,000 milliampere hour battery. That is a beast that supports three-way charging over USB-C, USB-A, and Qi wireless charging all at the same time if you're a boss like that. Now the second part is a USB Type-C hub that adds every port that you need to your MacBook Pro like SD and micro SD card slots, HDMI out, audio out, two standard USB-A and two USB-C ports as well. We know that a hub is pretty much essential for every MacBook Pro user today. And then on top of that, it has a magnet that you can attach your Apple Pencil to, and then the charge cover fits on top of that. Now the final piece of this puzzle is the organizer for storage of cables, headphones, and really anything you want with this slidable dividers that keeps everything just nice and clean. 
But what I really like is that I can use it on my workspace and then just like easily pack it up when I go mobile because I travel a lot. This thing really uh, does everything. So the Bento Stack Power Hub has a regular price of $199. There's an early bird $99 price. And if you go to the special link here and in the description, you'll be able to get a special Apple Bits offer for even the lower price of $95. Bucks. Plus, if you already own the Bento Stack from before and you just want that hub, you can buy that for $45. So check it out, the Bento Stack Power Hub. And then just in case you forgot, Apple TV Plus, their home for original content. It launches on November the 1st. By the time some of you see this, it will probably be live. And since it will be free for a full year for everyone who purchased an iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, iPod Touch, or Mac since September 10th, which is me, I'm one of those people, I'll be checking it out. Now, Apple Watch and AirPods, people that bought those, uh, you're not on that list. But you'll redeem it by claiming it inside of the Apple TV app and then entering in your Apple ID. You'll have up to three months from November 1st to claim it. Now, all of us have been asking for some sort of Apple TV Plus bundle with their services, and it's here for students. Subscribers to Apple Music's student plan that costs only $4.99 compared to the grown-up $9.99 rate will get access to Apple TV Plus for no additional charge. It's not clear how long this will last or if it's a limited time promo, but come on, Apple. Like, what about all of us mature grown-ups with blonde streaks in their hair for over 10 years? That's a bad Apple. <laughs> And I don't care if students barely have any money and are eating instant ramen every day. Ramen is good. All right, that's going to do it for this week. If you like this video, thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell. Ding! To get all my videos when they drop. Plus, check out my weekly Apple Bits XL audio podcast. We dive deep into all the latest stories, including ones that you won't find here. Plus, we got special guests. And you can support the podcast and all my content at patreon.com slash Tong. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and be safe. We'll see you. So, hey, good times. Lucky for them, I had all kinds of dog pics on my phone.